Let's and like social media companies are just doing so well with this uh, Corona economy. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Opportunity. Like, I know. Yeah. You know, like Netflix. I heard like Netflix like predicted they would get like seven million new um, subscribers during Q1 of the year. That's crazy. And then guess how much they actually got. 21. No, that's too much. 15 million. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the results uh, basically doubled their expectations of what they expected to, you know, earn and grow, which is absolutely insane. Now, here's, uh, the, here's the thing about Netflix. How many new stuff do they have, did they have in their backlog that they're releasing before they're going to run out of new stuff? Do you, do you know what that is like uh i i don't what is it no i'm no i'm I'm actually wondering i don't know i'm just curious it depends because netflix they have different languages like a lot of like people watch different languages. like my mom watches a lot of k-dramas now just Mm -hmm. because it's on netflix (laughs) and uh, my girlfriend watches a lot of k-dramas a lot of like japanese show like like this show called Terrace House. It's kind of like real world with like Japanese people mm. living in one place. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> this is kind of... So it's like, I don't think their backlog will end because it's just infinite. They could just it's get just new, new licensing. Shows. Yeah, new licensing. I mean, honestly, it's like, you know, probably not the best shows out there, but I feel like they they won't run out of content.